And turning now to our other top story, their beloved family dog attacked and killed at a boarding facility. The problem now, the county says the owner of that so-called doggy daycare is operating illegally. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska spoke to both sides and joins us live in front of the home where that dog was attacked. Michael? Wendy, just to set the stage for you, this is in a residential community. This is the neighborhood we're standing in front of her home just behind me, but it's extremely dark. Now, code enforcement's issue is the fact that it's a residential community. They say they are violating the zoning ordinance. They say they are going to be out here tomorrow and tell the owner to stop operating. Kayla, a four-year-old beer terrier's owner, say it's too late to save her life, but they hope telling their story could save other dogs from a similar horrific fate. She had um, at least one bite to her abdomen, which ripped out her intestines. Jim Dwyer says the owner of Peter Pam's sitting and boarding assured them their small dog would not be mixed with larger dogs. That's not true. I've always mixed large dogs and small dogs. The owner, Pamela Morgan, says Kayla and a Dogo Argentino, similar to the one seen here, spent the past four days together with no problems. But on January 30th, Morgan says that changed when the dog, unprovoked, attacked Kayla. Animals so, are animals, and they are unpredictable. What do you say to these people? People about their dog Kayla that's gone. It is gone. It was tragic. Tragic. I mean, tragic. We're missing a dog and it died. And it has to be either neglect or just incompetence. Dwyer says Morgan needs to be shut down. Their other dog, Gracie, was also there. He is grateful she wasn't harmed during the attack. It's been hugely difficult with one dog being killed. If they both had been killed, I, it would have been beyond words disastrous. Code enforcement says they will cite Morgan for operating a business in a residential zone. There is no shutting down. I don't have a business. But you're getting money in exchange for watching people's home. dogs. Right. So that would be running a business. And Morgan says she is protected because she gets all of her customers through a website based out of California called dogvacay.com. We called them tonight. They told us that her account has been deactivated. We're live here in Manatee County. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.